And behold, on the same day, two of them were going to a village whose name is Emmaus, sixty stadia distant from Jerusalem. And they were talking with one another about these things having taken place. And it came to pass in their talking and reasoning that Jesus himself, having drawn near, was walking along with them. But their eyes were held not to know him. And he said to them, What are these words that you exchange with one another walking? And they stood still looking sad. And the one named Cleopas answered and said to him, Are you alone visiting Jerusalem and have not known the things that have come to pass in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, The things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a man who was a prophet, mighty indeed, in word before God and all the people. And all our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to judgment of death and crucified him. But we were hoping it is he who is about to redeem Israel. But indeed, also, with all these things, this brings the third day away from which these things came to pass. But also, certain women out from, uh, out from us astonished us having been to the tomb early and not having found his body. They came declaring to have also seen a vision of angels who say he is alive. And some of those with us went to the tomb and found it is just as the women also said, but him they did not see. Jesus opens the scriptures. Chapter, verse 25. So sorry, it's Mark 16. And he said to them, O oh, foolish and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary for Christ to suffer these things and to enter into his glory? And having begun with Moses and from all the prophets, he interpreted to, he interpreted to them the things concerning himself and all the scriptures. And they drew near to the village where they were going, and he appeared to be going further. And they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and now the day has declined. And he entered the abode with them, and it came to pass, in his reclining with them, having taken the bread, he blessed it, and having broken it, he began giving it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he, being seen, vanished from them. And they said to one another, Was not our heart burning within us, as he was speaking with us on the road? as he was opening the scriptures to us. And having risen up that same hour, they returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven, and those with them gathered together, saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. And they began relating the things on the road, and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. And so reading this to you, there's reason and it's because I in a vision three days ago uh, I was told to um, have communion and that's uh, unleavened bread and uh, wine or grape juice if you're an alcoholic please do not drink wine okay just drink grape juice and it's made out of grapes it's just not fermented. It's fine. And we're, there's no certain day, there's no certain time, but you are to have your own personal communion and and to have your own personal prayer with the Lord. And that's all of us as a body. So if, if you haven't had this dream yet, I'm sure that you will. Uh, but uh, this is a vision, not a dream. So I waited three days to come to you to tell you this dream uh, because I didn't feel led to tell you about it. I thought it was just between me and the Lord. But we're all to do it. So pass it on. Shalom and shalom.